So we are here in the ship, cruise ship, and uh, we are going to Holland. It's an island in um, in Finland. It's owned by Finland. So yeah, we are excited. I mean, Hamad. So now we are at, in the archipelagos and it's so beautiful outside, though it's been raining. Mm, yeah. It's raining, unfortunately. Yeah. It, it's, it has been. I hope it won't be raining where we are going. Mm, where we are going? We are going to Holland or Marian. What's Holland? Holland is, a, is an island mm. owned by Finland. Yeah. So it's, it's the first time for me to go there. Is it the first time? It's like I have gone to Holland multiple times, mm. but actually I just like go there to change the, sh the oh, boat. Oh, to be changed. Ah, okay. So I haven't been to Holland like Holland as, as, as on a, land. Yeah. As yeah. A, as so a, are you going there to, to Holland itself or do you just to change the boat there and you come back? Um, I think we are going inside to see a little bit, right? No. No, we are just going to change the ship. We are going there just to change the ship <laughs> and we come back to Finland. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't know that. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, so we are going to just there and we there will be like a turning point where yeah. we change the boat yeah. and we will come back to, to Turku and to Turku. we will be arriving like about like six something. Six, Se probably seven, seven o'clock. Yeah, probably seven. In the evening. Ah, and so. now this is the morning the morning boat. Yeah, exactly. So do you expect like we have we have seen so many people yeah, gushing oh into the yeah, boat. There, and do, there is a lot do you believe like all of them are doing the same? Are I, going to return to Turku today or just they are just will resume to Stockholm? I feel like they're going to return to Turku. Wow. Well. I feel I feel like they're going to return. I think I feel like they, they've taken the twenty four hour cruise. Mm. I think so. The twenty four hour cruise. Yeah. Well, so it means like they are going to continue with this boat and return and they will be in Turku yeah. by tomorrow. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Wait. So it will be with a few or a few people who would just yeah, return exa to, to Turku. Exactly. But I, I still feel like we'll have a lot of but people. But by the way, like I, I, I feel like uh, being on a boat is, uh, I mean, in, in Turku at least, something very deep-rooted in the Finnish culture. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. So is it like, is it, is, it, is it becoming a ritual to go on a boat or...? Yeah, I feel like it's a ritual actually. It is a ritual. And even during, during summer, mm. uh, you have the small, the small boats. Mm. I, think, I, think, I think Finns love uh, water because there is uh, over 180,000 uh, lakes. 180,000? I know, yeah. Oh. Lakes, mm. yeah, counted lakes. I was, I, I was so shocked when I found out about it. It's actually Finland is called like the land of a thousand lakes. So the land of a thousand lakes. Yeah, and it's more. Yeah. Yeah. And I think this what make uh, Finland, or well, that was this what makes Finland, one of the few country in the world that uh, has this privilege of having so many lakes and also the archipelago yeah yeah that's true actually mm. actually yeah that's true i think in you i'm not sure i wanted to say maybe mm. in europe like the archipelago maybe it's it's probably only finland and mm. and the surrounding countries that have mm. uh, archipelago but i'm not sure mm -hmm. so i'm not going to make that as a statement <laughs> yes but it's it's it seems to me like it it is because i've never heard yeah. of archipelagos in, anywhere yeah. Anywhere, anywhere else in in Europe. Tell me about your country. Do you have also lakes in? Your yeah, country? we have we have counted lakes. We have wait Lake Nakuru, Lake Naivasha, Lake Victoria, mm. Lake. Uh, Could you probably remind the the audience where 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 is your country? Where do you come oh, from? Oh yeah, I I come from Kenya. Yeah, so yeah. would you like to talk about Kenya, like the nature there? How is oh. compared to the Finnish nature? It's uh, Kenya is yeah. Kenya is one of the beautiful countries in the world. I can, and I can I can tell you that, and um, if if you think that I'm I'm mm. I'm exaggerating. You visit there, but if you invite me, yeah, like how will... could you invite me if you live in Finland? Oh no, we go together. Oh, okay, yeah, we go okay, together to Kenya. Like, what case? I will host to you. Kenya. <laughs> you will host me. <laughs>
Yeah. I will host you. And um, so Kenya, Kenya is in uh, the east, east, eastern mm. part of uh, of uh, what is it called? Of Africa. Oh, you forgot the continent. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's in East Africa. Okay. Yeah, it's not. It's um. It has a an ocean, mm. Indian Ocean, in so Mombasa. So you are you are aligned on the or spanning the Indian Ocean. Yeah, exactly. At the coast is located. Yes, at the coast. Yeah. And Mombasa is one of the those beautiful places with white sand mm. and um, uh, uh, white sand and very beautiful nature. Yeah. You, we have coconuts there. Oh my god, the coconuts are really nice. Okay. Yeah, and then they Is have the mango. Is there a special special way to eat the coconut because we I'm myself I haven't seen like probably a coconut palm. Oh really? In my life. Really? Never. Wow. Yeah, then a reason for you to go to Kenya. Anyway. For the coconut. <laughs> 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 for the coconut. Yes. Yeah. So we we do it very because mm. it's very fresh. Yeah. Yeah. So then we you you have to crack it to get the the flesh out, mm. and then we have something called mbuzi. Mm. Mbuzi in in Swahili means uh, mm. a goat. Okay. Yeah, but, but I don't know why it's called mbuzi. Why? I I have no idea why. So a goat. Yeah, but the thing, uh, the instrument or 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 rather the equipment that we use mm. to uh, to uh, shred Heal? the coconut to no. shred. Straight yeah. the, the flesh of the coconut mm. is called mbuzi. So it's something like you sit on it and then it has a, it has a, I'm not sure what to say. It has a very sharp area yeah. in the in front. Then you sit on it and then you just do this, okay. the coconut, and you remove the flesh very nicely. Mm. But you don't, uh, I hope that you don't sit on the, the blade or the sharp. No. <laughs> because is it safe enough? It is very safe. Is it very, it okay. is very safe. And then yeah. you grind the coconut and then you eat it. Or you can just eat it, you know, with the flesh. You use a spoon and to scoop yeah. the flesh. Eat in the coconut. Do you, yeah. I, I feel like, do you, what are, this is like a relevant question. Uh, what is, or what are the main languages spoken in, in Kenya? We have, uh, we have two main languages, Swahili mm. and the national languages. Um, Swahili and uh, English. English is the official language and um, uh, Swahili is the national language. Then we have uh, 54 tribes counted, counted tribes. Oh my God, so 54, we may, yeah. 54 tribes. Tribes, so that's Don't 54 tell me, languages. Like every tribe has their they own language. have their own language. Oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah, the last, uh, the last uh, or rather the most So recent. how do you communicate with each other? Oh, we use Swahili or English. Even even the like those tribes who yeah. have their own. Yeah, because language. you have to like if you go to school, we use English as the official language, or or at work, we use mm. English. In Kenya, also we have different terrains. Uh, we have the East. Uh, sorry, we have the Rift Valley, that is like it's rift it's valley. like yeah, it's a valley that was that is rift actually. Mm. It's um. So the Rift Valley mm. is uh, it's where you find uh, Lake Lake uh, Lake Nakuru, Lake mm. Victoria, uh, not Lake Victoria, Lake Naivasha. Lake Lake Naivasha has flamingos. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Sorry, Lake Nakuru has flamingos. Oh my God, I'm forgetting. Lake Nakuru has uh, flamingos. It's 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 really a nice, fantastic, fantastic um, view. How do they taste? I've never eaten flamingo, but. But I think I think it's eaten, right? I think it's oh, exotic. I'm asking you if people, people, it, if people, like eat, I think, if people I think, eat it. I think they eat flamingos because it's a bird. I think it's edible. I've never eaten it, though. <laughs> I've never eaten it, though. But I think, but, I, I mean, if people eat but crocodiles... But it's, it's one of the endangered birds. It, it is, actually. We need to preserve it. Yeah, yeah. we need to pre and stop eating them. <laughs> we, st we stop eating most of the animals that are endangered. Yeah, because they're, they're also eating crocodiles. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Crocodile I've seen meat. some yeah. videos. Yeah, some I don't know how it... I, how I don't know how it... I don't know, I've never really tried. So what have you tried? <laughs> the normal the normal meat that... What is the weirdest thing, like you think it's weird, compared to probably Europe, well, what we eat here or what people eat here? What's the weirdest thing that you? Weirdest you, thing is that the, you have tried. Wow, 
Uh -huh. You don't want to talk about it. So. Oh no, I don't. I don't remember I the weirdest thing. Look, look <laughs> like a, like a. I don't. I don't know actually the weirdest thing I've ever tasted. Maybe mummy. Mummy, the. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's in fin. It's a Finnish thing. You eat it, I think, during Easter or something like that. If I'm not wrong. So in Finland. Yeah, in Finland. So it's what about mummy. Africa? Oh, in Africa, in Kenya, the weirdest thing I think I would taste is a, is a wild is wild meat. Game meat, but I've never tasted any game meat, so mm. I can't I can't really say. Yeah. So maybe maybe if I try, maybe the next time I should try uh, wild meat. Like a crocodile. Like a crocodile. Oh my god! Yeah. That's so scary though. But um, mm. let's see. Yeah, when you come to visit Kenya, we could try the crocodile together. <laughs> oh, well, let's see. <laughs> uh, I think it's it's. I don't know how it is. Maybe like chicken. Crocodile tastes like chicken. I, I don't know. It's so insulting for the crocodile. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking it could taste like chicken. Yeah. yeah. You saw that video. I sent it to you. Yeah. Where Trump is like, they're eating the dogs. Eating oh, okay. the cats. Yeah, we are immigrants. We eat like dogs. And, <laughs> and cats. And cats. <laughs> yeah, that was really weird. Though. Yeah, that's why I don't have bed. Yeah, because you will eat it. <laughs> because I can't, I can't help seeing my pet roaming in the house. <laughs> Without eating it when I'm hungry. You eat cats. Oh my God. That was so yeah. weird that immigrants are eating that. That's not oh, true. Oh, that's why now just I know the reason why I have one Iraqi friend who's like uh, domesticating like cats. Okay. Well, oh. like probably three, four cats. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I know now the reason yeah, why he has mm. three, four cats and they are more now. Probably. Oh, he's eating them. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> ah, anyways, I was telling you about the mm. the different parts of Kenya. Mm. So there is the Rift Valley, mm. and then um, there they grow tea, mm. and they also grow coffee. Coffee and tea. And tea. I mean, those are the cash crops. Those are the things, the mm. the crops that we export. What is the national drink there? Like what? People prefer to drink tea, tea or coffee. Tea. It's not a national drink, yeah. sorry. But well, it's, the, it's the, tea. The, the favorite drink. It's for tea. We call drink. it chai. You call it also chai. We call it chai because tea is actually chai. So when they when they and have tea is yeah. actually tea. Yeah, chai chai is tea in Swahili. I was tea. Tea tea is tea. And the chai. Chai is tea in Swahili. So when, <laughs> yeah. So okay. when 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 people say chai tea, okay, I'm I'm like, what it's like saying tea tea. By the way, for your information, in Iraqi we say also chai. Chai, yeah. ah, Arabic, yeah. And also I've I've when I once visited like Czech Republic, they also call call it chai. Really? Hmm. That's very interesting. Well, in Polish they call it kurpata. <laughs> In Finnish, they call, they call it teta. <laughs> it's at and, least cl closer to tea. And uh, and also, let's let's see like the those couple of viewers who are like accidentally stumbled on the video to watch us. <laughs> what do you call what do you call tea in your in your language? Okay, yeah, yeah. good question. Yeah, it is a good question. Pl please, I know they say it in this like. Yeah. Please write us in the comments. And exactly. What 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 tea? What tea, what tea is in in, tea is in, in your, your language? In your language. Yeah. So, it's a good way to to bring more people to watch because when they write in the comments on our Facebook page yes. or Meta page, yeah, so many people will will see their comments and they come to watch what why they wrote tea. Yeah, exactly. What is tea in your language? So it's a, it's a trap. Yeah, if, <laughs> it's a trap to bring more 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 viewers. Yes, exactly. This so is a trap. Yeah, it is a well, trap. We, st we started to install traps now. We we are <laughs> that level. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we get to make traps. Yeah, we get to make traps. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so then then there is the Nyanza province or the Western province mm. where we have Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria we share with Uganda, Tanzania. Mm. Uganda and Tanzania. And uh, it we only have like a small part of it. And there you find tilapia. Tilapia is fish mm. and omena. Omena is called daga. It's it looks like muiku. What you told me about about Victoria Lake because I'm very interested in that lake because it's I think where the Nile River yeah it is where the Nile the Nile River, River flow, flows from yeah from okay. yeah yeah it's 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 current currently we have something called hyacinth water mm. hyacinth that has dominated the the 
uh, the lake the lake the lake and it's it's <clears throat> really claimed a lot of, a lot a lot of uh, uh, a big part of the lake and mm. obviously you know fish is endangered and what not so we don't necessarily get so much fish because of because of that as 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 it used to be mm. so that's that's one of the things and so so we have those regions have tribes yeah yeah so in the rift valley we have the kalenjin tribe okay yeah so kalenjin is uh, is uh, an acronym mm. kind of for so many uh, languages in in mm. yeah they're called nilots in where so so many languages in that i mean so many tribes mm. in that region okay or languages in that region which continent what could be the eastern east east africa kenya okay obviously okay. Uh, continent Kenya, or no east african region okay so yeah. africa yeah africa in kenya in exactly kenya. yeah mm. and then then we have the of course nyanza province which is the eastern province so that's that's the place where you find the the luyas and luos mm. yeah so luos eats fish luyas like uh chicken Ingoho and something called Ugali. Okay. Yeah. Uh, would you like to tell me about uh, Victoria Lake? Why it's called Victoria Lake? Why? It was named after Queen mm. Victoria. Mm. So when the when the British came, mm. they found Kenya. They they founded Kenya or something like that. They found Kenya, whatever it is. So. So you were founded by the British. <laughs> Exactly, like we never existed. Yeah. For real, it's okay, so funny. Kenya. Yeah, Kenya. Fish. Yes. <laughs> Let it be. <laughs> yeah. So Let they, it be Kenya. They found it there. Yeah. Fish. So they found. So they. Fa they have mag. They have this a magic wand. Yeah. Exactly. Like, let's let's <laughs> let's find now. Let's let's find Kenya. And Kenya let's, appeared. Let's find a, a lake also. Yeah. Let there be Kenya, and Kenya appeared. Let there be Kenya. Let there be a lake, and let there. <laughs> and be And then the lake. And it's named after Lake Victoria. It's like right now. I think the history has changed, where we don't necessarily uh, use use uh, or rather original names of yeah. the places. No, we use we use the the names, mm. but then but then now we we don't say that it was founded by by the British because uh, you know the lake existed even before the Brits came. So now we don't we don't use that. Okay. Yeah. So well. I forgot the question. Uh, no, I was telling you about the yeah. the different parts of Kenya. Okay. And yeah. then we have the coastal part where we have the Mijikenda, Taita. Mm. Uh, I forgot the other the other mm. Mijikenda. Mijikenda is uh, as a an acronym for different also different tribes. Mm. Yeah. So um, yeah, so we have the coast, of course, where Mombasa is, mm. the the most beautiful coastal area I think in the world. It has white sun, so you have to you have to visit Kenya for that. So yeah, yeah, and then um, then we have the the high island highlands in um, central central Kenya. So there we grow coffee. We grow a lot of cash crops and veg not vegetables, but fruits for export and um, flowers as well. Mm. So we in the Rift Valley also we grow we do mm. horticulture flowers and vegetables and all that and then we export those in mm. uh, to different mostly mostly in Europe mm. yeah do you feel like you are sometimes you you encounter racism oh yes I have encountered racism have you been discriminated against no I have been discriminated against I have. Mm. which was you know obviously sad and there was there's one video i made for for youtube yeah. where you know like some two two guys were passing they had the they were on a scooter mm. and then i was doing my video and then they say they say nick get it nick get it they they say they, they said it it's in the video in the video yeah i didn't actually realize it until, until i posted the video and then i'm like whoa this was really bad what kind of what kind of feelings? I know it's a horrible experience. What kind of feelings did it, did this kind of experience like it trigger in you? Yeah, it was. It, I felt really sad because, you know, like I thought that we are kind of past that, and like we've mm. evolved in terms of using the word nekeri. Mm. But uh, you know, there are some people who still use it. I felt 
I felt like I wasn't part part of part of the country. Do you know? Do you, could you like? Have you seen these guys? Like how no, they're like like that. age category? I would say they're young. I think I think the young people. If they were sharing a scooter, that's you know like they're young people. Maybe I would say maybe they are in college or something like that. That's how they seem. Of course, it hurt me, but I also felt later on. I also felt sorry for them because what they were doing is they have low self-esteem. So by by saying or using that word, they it's it they they kind of feel better, like as if they are superior. But they're not superior. It's they are it, not. it actually shows. Oh, you idiots! Know, idiots! We exactly. have another idiot here. <laughs> Low self-esteem. Just, just yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they I want believe. to. Yeah, they want to. They want to put someone down so that they feel better. Oh, well, this is how they think. But of course, it's this is not... how I f- I felt later on. Yeah. You know, like I was like, yeah, they they were they are trying to to insult to me. be superior and to, exactly yeah. exactly. But that's. That's actually not true in my in my world. At least I have, mm. you know, uh, that's how I've learned to deal with, with, you know, racism, because racism is something that is has been talked about, especially mm. you know in recent times in Finland. You know, it's not just rac- racism against um, against black people, but mm. you know, um, Middle Easterns, of and, course, and 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 even. And even other, you know, Western countries, East, East European countries, for example. Yeah, exactly, East Europe, European countries. Yeah. yeah, because they they have this kind of hierarchy of, you know, people from the West. Mm. They are they are better, and then I, I don't know, know who 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 did like put that category. Yeah, I know, like it's they have this category. But who 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 That's like the who proposed that? Oh, I think I think it's the uh, you know uh, the rednecks. Red well, redheads, I think they're called rednecks or redheads, whatever it is. Maybe the nickelheads. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, like they, yeah. they they can't they can't stop immigration. Yeah, that's the thing that they can't they can't well, stop it. I think we are going towards we like it or some people like it or dislike it, but we are going we are going towards more diverse yeah, society exactly. where people can coexist with. Like even now we we find it with uh, with younger generations, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. especially like sometimes when I'm on the on the local bus, yeah, and I see like people like children, school children, yeah, like they are really diverse. Exactly, and they, they that's really, true. I I just uh, reflect on my own experience mm-hmm. when I was in the school. I try to to see how they they love each other mm-hmm. and how they goodbye each other when yeah. they. So regardless of their like cultural differences yeah. or on their like. Yeah, many differences that's that's good because that's a second generation the immigrants I immigrants think. Yeah, yeah second generation immigrants it's a good sign it's it is a good it is actually a good sign mm. and i also think that the fact that when you go into the bus or or any um social mm. social place mm. you hear different different uh, languages and i'm like oh okay this is this is getting really good because of the mm. fact that you know we have different languages or different uh, i missed all lang i missed all like languages mm-hmm. We still have voices that uh, demand the Finnish language to be preserved yeah, all the of time. Course it, and, of course, it and has the to. language of literature, the language yeah. of like, I I don't think like speaking so many languages or multiple languages, uh, let's say, goes against yeah, preserving the Finnish language. No, it doesn't. Or, it doesn't, and I or think negates. The exactly, way to, exactly. to preserve the, yeah. the Finnish language because it's just, yeah. it could be Go just ahead. enriching. Yeah, and, exactly. It just you know shows diversity that we are going towards diversity, mm. and this is especially in the cities, mm. Tampere, Helsinki, mostly Helsinki and Turku. Mostly, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, it just shows a lot how where Finland has come and how he, mm. it has it has actually grown. And and I, I know we need to preserve the 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 uh, the language because it's only spoken here in Finland. Mm. So it it could be endangered if we. If we introduce, you mm. know, for example, English as as the official language, it mm. could be endangered. So, you know, I understand why, you know, we need to all learn Finnish because mm. it's it's quite an important, you know, it's quite an important language. It uh, is. This, yeah. 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 It's it's actually the third diff. Uh, okay, I have to confirm this, but okay, I, let's confirm it. Yeah, we. We'll but con- after the break. <laughs> after the break, we we'll confirm this. Yeah. Yes, that uh, Finland, like. Uh, well, we we're having a break now. Oh yes. So. Yeah. 
Thinking back on how it was in years gone by And the good times that I had Makes today seem rather sad So much has changed <laughs> Welcome again to Cosmo platform, Cosmo Express. Now we have Kish and Kish wanted to confirm something. Yes. Well, Kish, would you like to make your confirmation? Now? Yes. I'm just confirming that Finland finishes the sixth hardest language in the world. Mm. So it's not it's not that easy. But it is it is learnable if there is a word like that. Mm. It is learnable. It is a, a learnable language. Yeah, it is a learnable language. It has it's different obviously mm. because it has a uh, I think three extra, extra um, mm. alphabets. But actually, it's very like impressive to see immigrants who arrived just like 2015, mm -hmm. and I have so many friends mm -hmm. who arrived in that year, mm -hmm. and by now they became able to speak Finnish language. Oh, wow, that's really good. Like perfectly. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, I know of someone who came two years ago. And they mm. speak good, good Finnish. So mm. it's really learnable if you put it's, your mind into it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's also it needs it needs many new improvising new ways to learn the language. Exactly. I, I I believe that we we are facing like a little bit the classical, the classical ways of integration. Yeah. And I also believe like integration stands on two feet, which one one of them language and labor market yeah exactly if you are if you learn the language you find the job you are fully integrated exactly, into, in, yeah. into this society yeah, yeah which i don't agree with because i believe like integration it's like uh, a two-way thing like it's really like transcends the, <laughs> the limits of just learning the language yeah, exactly. and, and and being employed or being yeah. part of the employment I, yeah it's or, true. or the finnish employment market i think i think with the with the language programs that we have it's the, it's it's not diverse enough because people mm. people people come here with different for example skills and mm. uh, people come here with for different reasons that we need to we need to understand like how to reach different people like like for example you know like people who come from a culture where maybe mm. um women women stay at home mm. to take care of the kids and uh, you know that's a that's a group that we've been ignoring, I think, and that's a group that we need to capture. Yeah, we need to capture those by by having different language programs for them, for example. Yeah, and then we have people who've come from war, for example. Would you like to tell me about your own experience with Finnish language? How did you manage to learn it and accomplish the what's called like uk uk testing, uk testing. The, yeah, your national Finnish exam and. And you passed it. Yeah, I did pass it. Um, so when I first came, I was very determined to speak the language, obviously, <laughs> obviously. And then, uh, and then, so I did. I think in one and a half years or one year, you, I was, I was, yeah, I was able wow. to, I was able to speak not fluently, obviously. Mm. And then I did my Uki test. It's a test that you do to get cancer like citizenship. So then, uh, because I was married. So I had to wait for four years before I get the uh, nationality. The, the nationality. Mm. So I had to do the UK test and I think I got I got three. You got three. I got three. And the highest is is four, I think, or five. Okay. I don't know. Four, I think. So I got I got three, which is B B one, I think. Mm. And then then I waited for four years and then got the citizenship. Yeah, but um, for other people who've come through different other ways, then I, I think it's the same. It's, it's the same. Always maybe demand. five years. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, no, it's five it's years. Five years. But now they're changing it. They, yeah, there are changes now. Yeah. Yeah, but do you think like I would like, for example, I was thinking of um, incorporating Finnish language in into my platform, Cosmo platform. Yeah. Because I believe now we are we are before a new world that mm -hmm. believes in visual materials yeah. more than the, the written materials. Exactly, that's true. So, to what extent do you believe like it's a successful idea to have us making programs in Finnish language? 
Um, well, you know, obviously, obviously it makes sense. But if you want to reach a wider audience, then, you know, finish, you know, like uh, talking about, talking, speaking Finnish in, in, in a platform like this may, may uh, kind of reduce, reduce, your... yeah, reduce the people who actually watch. But one of the things that, you know, is, is good is to have someone talking about, um, talking about Finnish, Finnish language as, as a language for learning, like what, mm. what their experience is in terms of as a teacher, for mm. example. Who, who, for example, teaches Finnish or something Let, like that? Let's hope we'll be fortunate enough to find a Finnish language teacher. I, I know one. Accepted <laughs> to appear. I, I yes. know one. You know, like just, just letting us know how to, how to learn Finnish in terms of, you know, how to easily, you know, learn. So learn let's Finnish. let's make another another trap. <laughs> Time to yes. make another trap. Time to make another so trap. So if you think you are you have Finnish language skills, please. Write in the comments so we can invite you to this platform. Yes, exactly. Yeah. In your style, please. <laughs> yeah. How would you how would you trap some other viewers to write in the comments? I think that's the best way to do it. Okay. Yeah, asking asking questions and mm. you know, like yeah. And people talking about their experiences. I think I think that's also going to help, you know, like newcomers, mm. you know, how how to because you know, as a newcomer you some some people don't get the right information mm. because it may not be available or they don't know where to go mm. yeah so so then then at least when people talk about this in the comment section mm. Mm. then you know you learn at least where to go or how to do it and what not yeah okay so we hope that to have people more people incorporate more people into this platform yeah. who are willing to speak yeah uh, the Finnish language yeah as a language mm -hmm. of conversation and we would like to have like a selko yeah selko was it selko selko kieli yeah selko kieli yeah <laughs> What about you? Like you I learned, like... I I managed to pass the test. I also like worked hard, yeah. really hard. Yeah, it is. Really yeah. hard. It, it, it works hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in order to pass the Finnish language test, yeah. and I managed to also receive the citizenship based on my language knowledge. Yeah. Did you get a three or a four? I was three, three. Yeah. yeah. So that's the. Yeah, it's the minimum level. Yeah, that's two. the minimum. Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy to get. Obviously, you have to study. I remember I had to prepare. Mm. Like. I was really determined to prepare for it, especially yeah. after registering. But the good thing is you can take it multiple times, you know. Like, yeah, multiple times. Yeah. One of them is like lottery, yeah. trying many. Many times. <laughs> <laughs> lottery. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, like lottery. Yeah. yeah. Then, then, you know, I mean, it's not easy. But it it's, is not. Easy. It's not easy, but it's kind of possible. It is possible. It is possible. You have to Nothing just... impossible. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Right? You have to put a lot of effort though. Yeah. A lot of it, a lot of it. It's like I think it's the same as when you're studying for any other exam. Yeah. Probably a difficult technical exam. <laughs> okay, now we we, we we just shift to a different topic since we are on a ferry. Mm -hmm. And when ferry is a pleasant atmosphere where yeah. many people come here basically for one purpose. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay, to travel and uh yeah and main purpose yeah exactly is to entertain themselves oh yeah to feel the freedom being in this beautiful vastness mm -hmm. and also to practice their hobbies yes yes and one of the most important hobbies which <laughs> which, which is a practice here <laughs> I believe it's singing. Yes. Oh yeah, the karaoke. I think I think I'll go there. After yeah, after a couple go. after a couple of drinks, it yes. will people would be people, easier. Yeah, I people, for me at least be easier to, yeah, to, people, to advance and take the microphone and sing. Yeah. I think people so people usually since you, you sing and you sang last time. Would you today sing uh, the karaoke? Or yeah, karaoke? of course. I have to sing in karaoke. I think I think it's a good opportunity to to practice your bathroom, your bathroom voice. So bringing <laughs> like now you, we are we are shifting your skills, bringing it out from the bathroom to the to the stage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I think I think that's a good idea, especially you know, mm. like it's it's entertainment. So you're entertaining people, you know. But then you know, like I mean, I think we should tell our audience what is. What exactly? What facilities we have in the in the ship, in this ship? For example, we have a swimming pool, and then we also have uh, restaurants. 
I don't know how many days. I yep. saw so many, so many this time in this ship. Yeah. They have so many. And then uh, what else do we have? We have a shopping center. Cafes. Cafes, exactly. And uh, what is it called? Bars. Supermarket, bars, uh, club, clubs, actually. I think yeah. there are two clubs here. I think there are two clubs here. And there are one place where you can sing. And then they carry... I don't know whether it's one place. I haven't checked that. There is a place where you can yeah. sing. No, but I don't know whether it's one place. It is one place. One place. Where you okay. can sing, of course. Yeah. 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 I have to register to sing. <laughs> and also we have bingo. Oh, yeah, we do have a bingo place. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, for those who bingo. like to gamble. Okay. <laughs> Well, or, like or, do... or for those who think that they, they're going to win this time. Exactly. Because everybody thinks like, okay, this I'm time I feel time. I'm going to win. I feel <laughs> then like you give you I... 50 euros, you're 100 no, euros. it's not 50 euros. What? It's like 5 euros or 10 euros. Like maximum. Yeah, but you can you can put 50 euros. You right? can put 50 euros, then, you, you, oh. then uh, definitely you're going to lose. Because whatever <laughs> you win <laughs> will not wait out there. 100 euro <laughs> yeah that's true it would be really interesting you know if someone actually won in the ship yeah p p people won like a, a really big amount yeah yeah like a hundred thousand and stuff i don't know i don't think so no yeah it's i don't just think for the, fun. i think it's i, I think fun. it's it's done for fun especially yeah. on the ferry it's not like a serious like yeah. gambling game yeah or... i don't think so one of the things we forgot mm. to talk about is the uh, the playroom for kids we have, for yeah, kids. we have different playrooms for kids. Yeah, I've seen just like yeah buying. for small ones and then for big, for mm. at least you know older ones. There's place for teenagers. Yeah, actually, by the way, when I go to visit other countries mm -hmm. in Europe, or also in outside Europe, mm -hmm. when they ask me what is the best thing yeah. you have in Finland, like yeah. the inter entertainment, like um, facilities, mm -hmm. uh, I would just talk about the ferry. Oh, yeah. It is a special thing and not so many countries have ferries, yeah. the opportunities to have this kind of yeah. cruise. Yeah, exactly. Ferries. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's 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 just a wonderful experience. I don't know how to how to put it because yeah. it's just You wake you up know. in the morning on Saturday. I know, right? And then you wake up in the morning really very yeah, early. Very in early the morning. in the and morning. Then, yeah, you woke up. What time did you wake up? At five o'clock. Ooh, well, I woke up at 6.30. 6.30, 5 o'clock. Because I doesn't make a difference. But you wake up in the morning on Saturday. Yeah. I where are you supposed to sleep? I know, I, I know right? Yeah. It's a sleeping time, yeah. Yeah. But wake up And you early. drink like a hundred tons of coffee, <laughs> hundred liters of coffee. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I woke up at 6.30. Yeah. Because I live a little, at least near, you know, the city or something like that. Yeah. But um, you just walked to them. I just yeah. actually I walked to the, and then surprisingly the we got into the same bus. The same bus <laughs> that goes to the to the to the harbor. Yeah, we got into the same bus. So I I think like it's also a privilege to be based in Turku because yeah, you can you can benefit from this opportunity exactly. and go often on on the boat. Yeah. Because I have friends who live in Tampere, yeah. in other cities like yeah. central Finland, yeah. who would travel a day before yeah. and then stay at my place. Next yeah. day we will go we'll together go to or ship. they will go to, to, to the, the ship. ship. Yeah. Well, that's it's, a, it's actually a privilege. Like we have, there, there are two, uh, I think three, no, two ferries. So two another, we have to make a trap now. So if you think this is a privilege, please write in the community. Yes, we are waiting for your comments. Um, so we have to, uh, what is it called? Uh, there is the 24-hour cruise. 24? Yeah, tw no, it's actually 23-hour cruise, where you, you travel by cruise from, Back for and example, forth and yeah, 24 from hours. Cruise, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then you change. Something like that. No, you don't change. You ch oh, no, you don't change. Yes, yeah. you don't change. You stay, you stay on, the same, on the same boat. Yeah, usually people travel at night. And then and then um, they entertain themselves until uh, wow. until five o'clock in the morning, and then they go oh, sleep. What's a wild? I wild, know it's a wild. Very it's, wild. Yeah, to exactly. Entertain yourself until exactly. five o'clock in the yeah, morning when I you know. are in the middle of of nowhere. <laughs> I know. I know. On the small boat, <laughs> I know. Seemed from the the airplane. I know. I know. So yeah, but exactly. The, the, when you, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It seems very small, you know, when you're up there. When you're up there. Yeah. So the entertainment is And when you are up, when you are up there, you just think when you are you think that there are this is an entertainment spot exactly. moving on the sea. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, oh yeah, I was talking about the mm. yeah, so there's the 23 hour one. Yeah. Where you go to Sweden. 
and then you come back so you didn't get out of the boat and then there is the there is also matka uh, uh, a trip that you can take for example you you go to you travel from turku mm. to uh, sweden mm. and then you one day in sweden and then you you explore sweden for one day and then you come back in the evening so or or turku you go from sweden to turku and then you tour turku for one day and then you return in the evening well you know a lot of I course of course so because i've done that from from, <laughs> from i don't know viking line it yeah viking line or celia or celia line yeah exactly yeah. And then, then you have the, there are three. So actually. if you are from Viking Line or Celia Line watching us, at least uh, write in the comments. Yeah, which one? Is, which one is your contact, favorite? Actually, and contact Kish. She could be a good, <laughs> a good, a good, a good a contact for you. So Source she can of make information. Uh, information and she yeah. could probably promote for you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, which one? Which one? For example, do you guys think is 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 the best Viking or Celia line? Drawing on my own experience, I found like when you go on ferry, you have two purposes: mm -hmm. either to 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 go to travel, literally for for travel, like yeah. you go somewhere mm -hmm. as you use it as a transport mm -hmm. transportation, yeah, yeah, as transportation means, mm -hmm. or you use it as entertainment means. You travel, yes, yeah, but but, but the main is, reason that mm -hmm. you want to enjoy, yeah. To, to have a smaller like uh, entertainment entertainment facility. yeah that's true that's true so once when I I wanted to really to travel going to for example visit some friends in Sweden mm. or going to airport Stockholm yeah. airport oh you use that yeah yeah a couple of times so I would prefer to go with Celia line mm -hmm. yeah yeah but once I went with the friends mm -hmm. and I want to have like the entertainment element. Yeah. Then I would utilize this, the Viking, Viking line because oh. believing it's better. I don't know why, but just the oh, stereotype okay. probably. I didn't, I didn't actually know that. You know, uh, I, I told you, you it's my, my own life. Your own experience. It has nothing to do I with, think... with the, with the, with the absolute truth. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've used, I've used both. And uh, I th I thought that Celia has more mature audience. Mm. Um, the then he had you know there's a younger audience, mm. but but then you know like today there was there was a mix of a mixture of ages. of ages. You mm. know I thought I think I saw a number of people who look like they're in their fifties, middle age. People. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah you, you yeah, also saw that. I yeah I also saw that. Yeah, and then there there I've also seen a lot of kids around. Yeah, they're kids. Yeah, so it's the morning boat. So <laughs> yeah, by the way, by the way, they could also be going to Holland and change. Yeah, they could also it, be. It's a it's a beautiful way, and it's it's just Sisloma in Finland, like the. That, yeah, it's that, it's wait, is it? No, I think Sisloma? it was li last week. Okay. I think it was last week. Like autumn holiday. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we are not in school, so we probably don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so do you think like being on the ship, it's like something special? Yeah, it is. I mean, every time for me, every time, every time I take a trip, it's like the first time. Oh yeah, now you can hear the kids, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Every time, every time I take a a, a cruise, it's like the first time. Mm. Like the experience is just so different, and especially when I see it from from far, how it looks like. It looks like you know, like a mm. a very classy classy hotel. Okay. Yeah, and it's just I feel it's different. I mean, you have to be here. You have to be really here to to actually understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. What about you? For you, I think uh, I for to some extent I believe that being on on the boat from Turku, it gives me special like special feelings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I started to form, you know, rich my own ritual. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, like when we go to a new, a new country, first we are not familiar with everything, yeah. but yeah. then we get familiar with, mm -hmm. with with many things. Yeah, that's true. And I believe, like being on so many times, multiple times since I arrived, like over the span of, yeah. of eleven years. Eleven. Oh wow! You've been here for eleven over the, years. Congrats. Over the span. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Of, of eleven years, starting with motor, not motorella. No, no, no. <laughs> Amorella. Morella, okay, Amorella, yeah. Amorella, the older yeah. like version. But it was of, new, I think. It by was the, very yeah. new. Like oh, sorry, it was very old. 
It was very old. It even, was the oldest. Even when you came. Yeah. No, no, it was the oldest. Yeah, it oh. was like, it, and then it had like now it's decommissioned. Yeah. And said I don't know where, but. So always when I come here, I always feel mm. like this is a special thing. And yeah. It's like a new tunnel ma, or yeah. atmosphere. Atmosphere, yeah. Yeah. And, and there are some things like, okay, we wait now for the market. Yes. That's called like free market. So. Yeah. The supermarket. The supermarket. That, and, uh, and also the yeah. the shopping, the what? Uh, tax free. Retail. Amount. Yeah. Retail, yeah. It's there. To, everything to is tax free here. People just go. Yeah. But, I'm one of them, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you've been waiting. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting. For your... But I think I think right now they're open. I think they're yeah. open. That's they're open. why we need to, to consider that. Yes, we need to go shopping. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we shop after, you know, like later on when we're coming when back. We're coming back. So we don't have to carry a lot of things because we don't have a place to put them. No. Because we didn't, we didn't take a cabin. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, so... This is the morning boat, so yeah, I don't think cabin is needed. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, I think when people come back, then they will have a cabin. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That 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 makes a lot of mm. difference. I wish they had like places where you can store your your luggage. Yeah, there 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 are places where you can store your luggage. Oh, here. I believe so. There should be. Yeah. There should be there places should be. where you can store your luggage, but I, I don't be, care. Yeah, like I have just my 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 gears. To yeah. carry them. I don't think we have a lot of things to, no. you know, like it's just you no, know, no, no. the camera. And so all. I think we need to. Lopeta. To, to Lopeta. Yeah. Lopeta we need to stop. Lopeta. Okay, now Finnish language is coming out. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ensikerta. Ensikerta. Uh, Urita Puwa. So, mm. Mm. I don't know about that. Okay, so now we need to end this episode of the podcast or podcast or yes. special podcast. Yes. With Cosmo platform. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, write in the comments, whatever you think. Share your shared experience because we want to erase distances and we want to bring people together through this kind of podcast with this kind of conversations and we need to attain or achieve a significant essence of coexistence among various communities living in Finland to create a cohesive society and to to foster understanding. Thank you very again for watching us and now wait for another episode. See you. See you.